Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go through the CMC Markets smartphone app, a full walkthrough and tutorial, and also uh, tell you how to make your first trade on the system and all the options that you have to go through. So let's jump into the phone and get started. When you come into the app, firstly, you'll be meted with the home page, which is the products page. You've got these four options here, which are the most popular products being traded currently, hot products, or the biggest movers on the day. So if we just go into popular products, you can see here, Germany 30 cash, that's the DAX index in Germany. And we have the US SPX 500, so that's the S&P index. We have the NASDAQ. Below that, UK 100 is the FTSE 100 index. They're called something slightly different in here, but these prices on screen do track those indexes. So as you can see, the prices are moving, so the markets are open at the moment. You can just press the back button and go back to that main page. At the very top, you have your account value, total margin, if you have any open positions, that margin number will be a very variable amount at the moment. I haven't got any open positions, so it's naught. Then available balance, annual profit and or loss. Again, I don't have any open positions right now, so my margin and my profit loss both at zero. This main page is essentially the page where you can go and find the product that you want to trade. So as you can see, you can go through to watch lists and it gives you a few watch lists of popular products already. And we can go through to the indices as well. Again, popular indices, if we click on that, you can see it takes us back to that popular indices page. If we come out of there and go to currencies, these are just the popular pairs that you can trade. So the euro uh, versus US dollar, the Australian dollar versus US dollar, and cable GBP US dollar, you can go and trade those. As you can see, you can just flick through all of these different instruments, whatever you want to trade, be it commodities, Forex, or you can set up your own watch list. So even cryptocurrencies are traded on this app as well. So you can use uh, spread bets to trade on these prices as well. If you look at the bottom, there is a home button. So you can go on there. This is your home screen, your positions, and I don't have any at the moment, but we'll get on how to open a trade in just a second. But any open positions will be there so you can see them straight away. Down, you can see the popular products and you can scroll left and right to see these just as the prices are moving. Insights gives you some news and some what CMC markets think is some valuable data points. We also have uh, news here, which is Reuters news, but that is only available for live accounts. I've just got a paper money account just to show you guys how to actually trade on there. As you can see here, the calendar as well. So uh, different markets or different governments will um, put out their data, for example, uh, the, their price indexes and their housing starts and things like this, as you can see. So that will all be there. So that's good information for you. Any orders that are in the process of being executed, maybe they haven't reached your price levels yet, will be in that section. Executions is the history of your bets, as you can see. Uh, the last trade that I placed was a volatility index trade. I closed out the position. Then down at the bottom, you just have some more options here, including switching account, or you can see the funding button here. If you do want to add some funds to the account, this is how you would do it. You'd go into this screen and put in your bank details, your card details, and add some funds. If we go through to the account page, I have no open positions. We will be opening one in a second though. Any orders that are currently in the process of being executed, any price alerts that you set up. At the moment, I don't have any price alerts, but if you press the bell button, you can get some price alerts. So if an instrument reaches a price that maybe you wanna buy or sell at, it can email you. Going through to the analysis tab, again, this is just the most important news that CMC thinks that you might want to read to keep up with the markets. The news tab, again, is only for live accounts. CMC TV is a list of a lot of different videos that CMC post on YouTube about market analysis, market updates. So that's quite a good thing to have right in the app and you can watch some updates there. Going through to the more tab and you can fund your account this way. And there are also some settings that you can play with. You can also set up your notifications in this tab as well and you can log out in here. 
So let's go and find a product to trade. So we go into the products and let's keep it easy just with a popular product. So I'm gonna trade the S&P 500 as you can see here. And when you come into the trading screen, the first thing that you get is the, uh, the graph that shows you just a one day. You can pinch and zoom and you can see a longer amount of time, but you can keep pinching in and out and just get any time scale that you want. So you can see the chart here, the price is on the way back up. So I'm just gonna go and buy some shares and show you how it's done. So this is a spread betting app, CMC Markets spread betting. So essentially you're betting, you're just betting on the price. So as you can see the first box, pound per point. So how much do you want to bet per point that the price moves? So we can just put maybe one pound per point. You can also put 0.5, so 50p per point. When you click out of that box or press return, it will show you the value in pounds of your trade. So 15,000 pounds is the value of the trade so far. You can change it maybe to 10p a point, press return, you see the value goes down. You can either trade maybe a pound a point, press return, the value goes up. So you can see the value of your trade as you are trading it. The minimum you can bet is 10p per point on this app. Then to the right of the value, is a little dot with market. So this is a market order. It will just be executed at whatever the price is at the time. If you press that box again, you have a limit order. You can set the limit and you can see it's changing along with the market price. If you press the box, it will stop trading and then you can change it. So the current offer is 311.19. 11, 19 point, and then maybe it's changing around 0.7. Maybe you just want to say, well, I'm gonna trade it when it hits 3,119. 3, so that's a good till canceled order. You can see GTC, good till canceled. That order will stay until you cancel it, but you can press that and change the date as well. You can just press GTC and it will change. Obviously a market order does not need any time scale. It just will be executed straight away. Stop loss is the amount that you are willing to lose on the trade. You don't have to put it there, but it is a way of reducing your risk. So if the price, for example, if I'm buying, if the price moves against me, then if the price moves down, maybe I want to reduce any losses. So for example, at the moment, the stop loss is set at 2,963. It's moving around a little bit. If I press the box, it will stop moving around. And as you can see, the value, so that means that I will only lose 155 pounds, almost 156 pounds, because I have a stop loss in there. Take profit is the complete opposite thing. So if you want to take profits at a certain amount, you don't think that the price is gonna go up forever if you are going long, and you say, well, if the price does reach 3,180, I want to take my profits and sell automatically, so you can put that in there if you want. Down here with estimated margin, it just gives you how much margin you will need. So obviously if you don't have that in your account, you can't take the trade, but it gives you an idea of how much margin you need to put up to execute the trade. So once you have your spread bit in place, you know that you want to trade 10p a point, your stop loss is down at a certain level, your take profit is at a certain level as well, your estimated margin is so much, just press confirm and it will take you through to all of those again and you can just press new order and it will take you through and there it is placed. We can then move out of that screen by pressing cancel and then press done at the top as well. And then if we go through to our home, you can scroll up and you can see your position is open here and it will give you up to the date price movements on that stock that you've just traded. You can then press that instrument and it will take you through to your trading screen so you can see all of the price movements. So currently I am down a little bit on this trade, as you can see down 0.28%. We can then go back to the products page and trade even more options, or you can search for any instrument that you want by the ticker, as you can see, Apple, you can type the name in and it will just give you there if you don't know the stock ticker. You can go through to that page as well. And again, it's the trading screen, so a day, and you can pinch and see the longer chart here. 
So again, if I want to trade, just go into the trading screen. How much do you want to bet per point? Maybe 10p. You want a limit order or a market order. Stop loss is at what level? Let's say I want to have a stop loss of 350. You can see the value of the loss is not that much. Take profit, I don't want to take any profits. I want to run the position, press return, confirm. It takes you through here and then you can just press new order. And there you go, that is placed. Cancel out of the screen, cancel out of the other screen, go back. Go back to your home screen and as you can see, you have now two positions open in the market and your profit and loss will be shown on the right hand side. Also, now that you can see I have open positions, the bar at the top shows everything that is going on with my account. So you can see how much margin I have. So I only have an account value of £4,000, £3,900, but I have £860 on margin. So I'm using up quite a lot of my account on margin. That is something you always have to be aware of. I've got 3000 available and I'm in a little bit of profit at the moment. This will now change because I have open positions. If I trade out of these positions, this will of course won't change because I'm not in the market whatsoever. Hope it was helpful guys. Subscribe if you wanna see more like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.